Hey, what's going on everyone? This is hers. Hey, it's been a while and here I am doing another Starbound video. This time I am doing it for 1.0. I know it has been almost over a year since I've done a server setup video. I just set one up last night and I kind of got a feel for everything that needed to be done. So here we go. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your program files or program files x86, um, Steam, Steam apps, common, Starbound file, folder. And uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, open up either, depending on what version you're going to run, if you have a Windows 64 based uh, system, then you can open up either or, but just a safe way, just a safe way to do it, go open, open up either of them and start your Starbound server uh, exe, in which case what that's going to do, it's going to generate the server config file in the uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Starbound storage file. So now that you have the Starbound server config here, we're going to open that in uh, Notepad++ and that's what you see here. So um, a bit has changed since uh, the last time and I got a chance to look over these and test it out because I was uh, without a few of these other changes, I wasn't able to I wasn't able to uh, lock it down as much as I wanted to. So what I did was uh, I saw that was allow anonymous connections. I set this one to false. So first you're going to want to do is you want to change that one to false. And then of course allow admin commands. If you want admin commands from this line, if you want the admin commands, like if you're going to be an admin or whatever, you'll set that to true. But for me, I set that to false. Um, allow anonymous connections, I set that to false. Uh, allow assets mismatch, I've set that to true. Because there is, um, there is a thing where when you, when you start up, you have to select asset mismatches because I, uh, at first I was having problems trying to get in because it was, it was saying there was an assets mismatch. And when I went into the options of the game and told, um, you know, check that box, it allowed me to join the server. So we'll leave that there. Uh, your banned IPs is for banned IPs. Uh, UUIDs, that's for banning names. Uh, check Assets Digest. Uh, right here in the Client IP Joinable and Client Peer-to-Peer -peer Joinable, I switched those. So I set this, this is for a dedicated server. So I put this one to true. And then uh, this next one was false. Uh, so I didn't, I, since I have a dedicated server and that's what this is a setup for, uh, you'll want to keep that as false because there really isn't peer to peer if it's just a base, uh, uh, just a dedicated server that's set somewhere else. Uh, you'll keep your game server port at 21025, uh, and then, uh, you'll want to port forward that. Uh, I won't, I, I'm not going to discuss port forward here. There's plenty of materials online that you can do that with. Um, and then you have just a few other base settings. Uh, max players, you could set that to whatever team size, player backup count. And then we'll get down to the nitty gritty right here, server users. So back in my last video, I had the uh, paste bin uh, site, which I'll also link below. What I did was I grabbed that file and pasted that there. So this is for admin, uh, false or true, or you can lock it down for other uh, users. So like this one, uh, you want user one, you make it Tommy. And then you give him uh, admin false password, password one. So when he wants to get onto your server, he'll, he'll go to the IP of the server. He'll type in, or I, I, I type Tammy, but you'll type in the name and then the password and then the port and the IP address, boom, you're in. That is it. That is how simple it has become. They've made it uh, much, much easier. And yeah, that's it. Uh, if you want to uh, have someone drop in, you could start the server locally and then you can have people join your game from Steam. That's one of the new features that they did. But I think I left, I don't think I left anything out. Uh, if there is anything, I'm sure I'll put it in the uh, description below after people call me out on it. Not really call me out on it, but people let me know something that I missed. 
but yeah, I'll try and keep up on the comments for a few months uh, to help anybody out who's having issues. But that uh, concludes my Starbound server or Starbound dedicated server 1.0 setup. All right, again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great one. Woo!